central to, to Zizekian philosophy. And I think they apply to this dimension of the self-propelling wheel. Um, the self-propelling wheel is something which sees the truth of its epistemology or the truth of its knowledge in failure. So that's the epistemological failure angle. In other words, you don't get uh, too identified with the positive correctness of your uh, own knowledge. Um, it's not that you don't know things or it's not that you don't like have correct ideas in some dialectical sense. Um, but you're sort of focused on where the crack is, or you're focused on where you are not quite sure um, about whether you're right. Like, so for example, like I could give sort of like examples of like what that looks like in my own epistemological scaffolding, like sort of where I feel like oh, I'm not really, I don't really know if I'm correct here. I don't know really if my interpretation is right here, or, you know, this will take me a few years to figure out, you know, like this type of thing that goes on maybe in, you know, in my own sort of working through my own philosophy. And then you have the ontological impossibility dimension, which is sort of the impossibility to fully be yourself, like the impossibility to fully be, you know, your, your, your identity. Um, like, so for example, uh, many sort of traditional metaphysical views in the Hegelian tradition, um, you know, in the science of logic, Hegel talks about this in relationship to Spinoza, um, is that, you know, you can never really have a complete full ontology, a, a complete full picture of substance um, in Hegel's reading of Spinoza, for example, because, because of the self-relation, because the, the cat in like, so again, to use Hegel's words, the categories of essence are at themselves in a historical dialectic. So there is a sort of ontological impossibility uh, uh, at work. So basically I'm trying to say that when we think about this self-propelling wheel, I think we have to think about the ways in which we are always striving in relationship to ultimately the impossible. And I think at least Zizek's interpretation of magic is that sometimes the impossible becomes possible. You know, sometimes, you know, like that, that the, the subject striving in this way sort of retroactively defines the coordinates of its own becoming. So for example, like, um, like I'll just again, use a personal example. So like when I was, and this might be useful for, for maybe you or maybe uh, people who follow your channel who might be in a similar situation. Um, when I sort of realized that the entire university path or when I realized the entire university trajectory was a pyramid scheme where it was sort of not based on meritocracy, where it was sort of systematically um, coercive and manipulative and conformist and, 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 and sort of anti a genuine creative um, spirit. Um, I realized that I would have to sort of create the foundations for something outside the university. And that appeared like an ontological impossibility. Like, how can you bring philosophy to the marketplace or how can you bring philosophy to the market and be beyond the market at the same time, right? Like it seems like an impossible task. It seems like my entire epistemology would have to go through enormous failure in order to do that. Now, I'm trying to do that, but I don't know if I'll succeed, but if it does succeed, then it will retroactively define the conditions. I will have retroactively defined the conditions of my own becoming in relationship to what I perceived as an ontological impossibility. And through that process, all of my epistemological scaffolding will be transformed and so forth. So in any case, that's how I'm making sense of this. I hope that that was somehow clear. Yeah, that was helpful, but um, I just right at the beginning kind of, I'm not sure um, if I'm just missing something when it comes to this idea of uh, that you, you explained it really well, better than I can explain about um, the sort of incomplete totality, the way because of the very self-relation, it can't become complete. Um, like to me, the way Nietzsche defines um, the self-propelling self wheel is the will willing its will, its own, its own self. So to me, wouldn't isn't that sort of the ultimate like i 
notion of a pure self-relation like it is the will which is actively willing itself to continue like so to me i so you get what i'm saying right i so, say what, i see what yeah. you're saying now yeah i think i think yeah and this is really clever i, I so I, so here's here's where like it, it could it could it could be so this is an example of like an area where like I, i'm i'm not quite sure how to interpret uh this but like it's obvious that nietzsche himself saw himself as continuing the tradition of spinoza and spinoza definitely has in his metaphysics this notion of a self-cause i don't know how to pronounce it in the original terms but it's like a causa sui or it's like the actual technical definition but the the, the concept is trying to get at this notion of a, a self-cause and it seems to me anyway like this is in contradiction with uh, Lacan's notion of the object cause of desire. So in other words, that you don't, and this is something that Zizek would emphasize very strongly, is that you don't cause yourself, you're caused by the object petia. So like, I think like, if there is like an interesting project at like sort of thinking the contradictions between let's say like a, a Nietzsche and a Lacan or like a, a Spinoza and a Hegel, it's in relation, and I've like written, a, there's a whole chapter in Less Than Nothing about this, that there's a, a video on the distinction between Spinoza and Hegel for anyone that's interested in diving into that. But um, yeah, this distinction between the self-cause um, and the uh, object cause, um, sort of the cause by your own lack or, or, or something like that, um, is, I think, a minimal distinction which has yet to receive the philosophical attention that it probably deserves. And uh, probably something interesting would come out of investigating that.